Hi, welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Report. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. Nearly three years after city officials approved a $35 million redevelopment effort for the former Tower Automotive Complex, there are signs of progress at that Northside site. The planned project, called Century City, will be a mix of light industrial and back office buildings, along with a limited number of apartments and commercial space. It's still in the pre-development stage, and that phase includes an environmental cleanup, demolishing most of the former tower buildings, and building a new street and other public improvements to serve vacant parcels to be sold to businesses. The city began tearing down buildings in February, and that work will be finished by December. Vacant parcels will be put up for sale next year. There is a lot riding on Century City. It's within one of Milwaukee's poorest neighborhoods, and the surrounding area badly needs jobs that would be provided by companies locating at the business park. The new development also would generate property tax revenue, a key source in paying the public costs of buying and redeveloping the site. Century City is frequently compared to the Menominee Valley Industrial Center, where the city bought and redeveloped a former rail yard into a business park that has since sold most of its parcels. But the Menominee Valley development is located next to I-94. That's a big advantage over Century City's location, which is roughly two miles west of I-43. For much more on this story, look for an upcoming article in the journal Sentinel and at jsonline.com.